Be crying out for democracy. UNC family, listen to the lyrics of Richie Spide. The earth are run red. Watch out for them big time thief. Them who claim them are be smart. Our children are dying. Three months ago, seven year old, ten year old, eleven year old, baby shot, baby shot in the eye, nine year old, ducking bullets and dying. And out of a four hour and 12 minute budget, the PNM gives you two minutes. What row leaders do in Tobago in the parlor sharing chips for two minutes, they give you that and they tell you hold that, they in charge. Before I get going, I say condolences to the family and friends of our warrior Stefan Rees, a man on Synergy TV, one of the fairest commentators. I don't agree with everything he says, but his father passed away, so condolences, Stefan Rees, and uh, our prayers from the UNC go with you. The people want indemnity from Rowley. The people want indemnity from the PNM. The people want indemnity from PNM corruption. The PNM. It's raiding the treasury day by day in front of our faces. The people want indemnity from PNM recusals. They want indemnity from PNM nepotism. We want indemnity from PNM oppression. We want indemnity from PNM heartlessness. We want indemnity from PNM coal pot and bike. The people want to eat macaroni pie and ham at Christmas and go to movie town. Give us indemnity. Call election. Give us indemnity. Her name is Kamala. Yeah. Even the Express has to burn fire on the PNM. Express. Newsday, Guardian, TV6, CNC3, as you allowed a miscreant who impregnated a girl of school age to become prime minister, as you, are, you allowed a man who took gravel to roll somewhere by him from a hospital, you gave a man who gave his friend authorized outline approval to increase his land at Shorelands for Renaissance from 10 million to 850 million. Greenville, Las Alturas, Email Gate, Delcy Gate, you ignored a miscreant and now our country is crying and the earth are run red express. But that's why I use a red pen to now underline as you have been forced to tell the truth. Because it has gotten so bad that not even you express, not even Judy Raymond who expresses her love through the pen for whatever two minutes Rowley could give her, not even the guardian of Rowley's k packs could defend this nonsense. But you all come to pretend you're feigning truth now. Let me read from the Express. And you know them PNM balling the papers against them. Mutually assured destru destruction. It is hard to escape the feeling that Trinidad and Tobago is being run by a bunch of amateurs. You now know that? Is the same amateurs? Seven years. It's the worst time in Trinidad and Tobago history. Road collapsing, people busting tire. You can't get water. They want to charge you more for electricity that you're not getting. Three fall down, blackout. The whole place in a mess. Guns and bullets. We're going at 559 murders for the year. And all you now realize, them is amateur. The Nelson quagmire now only th not only threatens to engulf the Rowley administration, but to drag the country's reputation through the mud. You now know that. But when small pin young who do nothing for this country, but sit down and call the hard commission of inquiry, the off inquiry, and get $100,000 per day, then he defend Rowley in his lies of email gate to, come, to become a super minister, swear on the Bible to serve all you, and he father, he brother, and he collect about $5 billion. All you didn't know them was amateur, but there's not amateur in raiding the treasury. Them is professional. 
but express the people want indemnity from the mutually assured destruction that you're talking about. The people want indemnity from a mass media that has obfuscated and allowed Rowley to rise to be prime minister. When we talk about this Nelson Gate, there were other instances of the exact activity, and I want you all to think about the mind of a human being now. Let's go back to email gate before Rowley was prime minister. What was email gate? Rowley had pieces of toilet paper fabrications. He brought 31 so-called emails into the parliament, 29 of which could not even be email emails. A five-year-old would know that there weren't enough characters for it to even enter the cloud. The only cloud it enter is white cloud toilet paper that Rowley does use at one Woodbrook plates to wipe his face when he see what's going on down there. And he came into the parliament call a motion of no confidence in a sitting prime minister. Think about the mind of a human being who would do that. Knowing full well it was a total, complete fabrication and lies. He called the whole country to pay attention. He stood up in the parliament in the air condition and the waterfront for an hour and 15 minutes after holding these pieces of toilet paper for six months, which claimed that the government wanted to kill somebody, kill a reporter, that the man who he later made commissioner of police was plotting. This dastardly liar stood there, then pushed him a march and told you all and walked straight into the office of Prime Minister with the help of the media who never said, Lies, lies, Rowley, you lie. And now you all are shocked at Nelson Gate. Think about the mind of a human being who for seven years continues and up to this point tries to claim that email gate had some efficacy. The emails did not exist, therefore if they do not exist, you cannot, con you cannot investigate the contents of that which not exists. The PNM cabinet has no brain, you cannot investigate the brain of the cabinet because it does not exist. It's the biggest bunch of dotish people ever assembled to lead anything. Then you had procurement gate. You all sat there, the media sat there, and independent senators sat there, and one of them voted. While a government came with a procurement legislation that was designed to protect your money from thieves, they said that is too good. That is too much words. That is too many clauses. That have too much control over too much money. Let me unlock the treasury a little bit. Move that. Move legal fees. Move medical supply. Move that. They, lock, they unlock your money. Why? To keep it safe? or to thief it, and you all just let it stay there, and you stayed silent. There was the fake oil gate. Keith Rowley comes to you, the country, and the media, and says, that is my friend. I in charge of Petrotrain. The Petrotrain do an audit, and they say, oil disappearing. All of a sudden, oil moved from X amount to 23,000 X amount. And Rowley say, well, that's my friend, I call him. Rowley is the head of the National Security Council. Rowley in charge of the Minister of the Energy. Rowley in charge of Petrotrain. Rowley appoint the board of Petrotrain. And you all allow him to stay there and control a whole investigation into his friend who does dance bareback and use racist epithets. But all you want to worry about a councillor who blacker than me talking about the N-word. All you don't know the rules are N-word. But I wouldn't use it, the dogla. But I will deal with you all seriously. And you all are in shock now. Rowley went with small pin and Al Rawi, the dunce who still long in, in law school. And when Anna and Ram Logan and Kamla Pasad Bissessa was trying to recoup 20 b -b -b billion dollars of your money from a PNM man who was executive chairman who took decisions contrary to the good and lost your money, took your money, your money flitted away. And Kamla was going to get your money so you didn't have to ride bike now. You didn't have to cook on coal pot. You could have eat ham and pastel and you could have go flipping movie tongue. Kamla was getting back your money. You know what Rowley did? Rowley and Rawi and Smallpin got together and take the man out of court. The Privy Council laugh at us as a banana republic. You all let that pass. So don't be shocked. The refinery closed, Petrotrain closed down. Why? 
the McKinsey report, the Solomon report, the Lashley report, $64 million of expert advice. Imagine you go and pay a doctor for $64 million to tell you what to do with your heart, your brain, your colon, and your k -Pax. And when he tell you, well, you have to do X, Y, and Z, you throw away that, and you go by mother corn hawks and say, girl, tell me a prayer. That's what they did. And they shut down Petro Train, fire 6,344 permanent workers, 5,000 temporary workers, the all the fence line communities, hairdresser, nail tech, restaurant, bar, everybody lost money. And all you leave them day. And all you didn't stay silent. And all you shock. Oh Lord Nelson Gate, Nelson Gate. They were always there. They're miscreants from before during and after, and the only way to get rid of them is for you all to stop voting for miscreants. The heart, body, soul, and mind of Rowley and the PNM have been continually revealed to you. Now even the politically blind can see that Rowley and his choir of PNM misfits must go. Why did we as a people stay silent as Rowley and the PNM decimated our constitution? our independent institutions, the rule of law, and our democracy. Why did we stay silent? He conduct, he put a PNM in charge of the EBC, and only stay silent. If Kamala had put Anil Nis in front of the EBC, only would have been marching, pulling down sari, running mud mannequin all over the place. But you put a PNM minister Nis and the best friend of the bundles who are doing the worst in education, and that's okay because PNM can do that. You stay silent, okay? Shh. Yes, man, always stay silent. When he humbug the electoral pro process in two elections, taking an extra hour because of the EBC, and then another one without calling election observers, and he lie on the election observers, you all say, shh, it's Rowley, let him cheat. When he went with the police service commission and collapsed it, along with the president of the republic, you all stay quiet. The independent senators stay quiet. Why? When he got involved and chose his own commissioner of police, and now the earth are run red with blood of our children, all you stay quiet. Why? When he came and he got it procurement, he interfered with the DPP office now and the integrity commission. All you stay silent. Silent. Silence is the aphrodisiac of corruption. We can no longer afford to remain silent. I call upon Transparency International, you're silent. Chambers of Commerce, why are you silent? Law Association, silent. Political scientists, retired public servants, independent senators, you shout at the UNC, you say we want a marketplace, you play, we want a bacchanal fish market because we wanted to get a tribunal to investigate the, the misbehavior in public office of Rowley, Paul May Weeks, and Bliss C. Passard in breaching section 1234 of the Constitution. Independent senators say for bonfire on the PNM, on the UNC, and talking all over in the newspapers. Well, you say no. Uh, silence. No report and call all yeah? Cat got your tongue. Huh? Senior counsel. Where all all you all silent? Retired judges. What happened? All you looking for more pension? Huh? Everybody's silent. Law professors, is it, what's your what's going on with this opinion? This breach of the constitution, breach of the separation of powers, this misbehavior in public office, this inducement and bribery. Silent? What about plot? Powerful woman. Yeah, all you only know when Kamala says something to, to attack Kamala because she's more powerful than all of you and she gave this country good governance and proper representation for the people across the board. Wait now, we're fixing TNT. Um, TNT fix her. Presidential pardon was offered now by Al Rawi and Rowley. A presidential pardon. I ask you, Paula May Weeks, how they were able to do that? Did they also discuss that with you on August 11, 2021, when Rowley came to thwart the mer meritless and whisper in your ears while you was in your duster and had on your, sl your slippers? Did you all discuss that? Or did they just take it upon themselves to know that you are pliable, Paula? How they were able to offer a presidential pardon and in a month's time? The PNM cannot even clean the drains in the ground across the corporations in a month's time. But they're going to give a old bandit, a old thief, a legal prostitute, a, a 
a presidential pardon. President Paula, was it a pliable president that gives confidence to polluted PNM politicians that they could promise a legal prostitute a presidential pardon? How presumptuous. Your cumulative si silence is an indictment on our society. Silence is acquiescence. Silence is approval. Silence is corrupt. End this silence. Shout from the mountaintops in one voice. PNM must go. Rowley must go. Elections now. Because the people want indemnity from Rowley, from the PNM, from the corruption, the PNM recusals. The people want indemnity. That indemnity is Kamala. Join the UNC. Come on board. Call the elections, Rowley, and come and get what is coming to you. As I calm down and wrap up, I must give my people and Trinidad and Tobago some Diwali greetings. Much like the arduous and painful years when Lord Rama was in exile, so too have the people of our beloved country. For the past seven torturous years, patriotism has been exiled. Racial and religious harmony has been in exile. Truth, transparency, and accountability has been in exile. Propriety, honesty, and good governance have been in exile. Creativity, competence, planning, and implementation have been in exile. Democracy itself has been exiled, but much like R Lord Rama, with strength, a sense of unified purpose, perseverance, and prayer, we too can defeat the multi-headed demon, Rawan. Let us all join together to illuminate a clear path to rejuvenation, hope, survival, and success. Let our dears light the path to freedom over tyranny. Wisdom over ignorance, humility over arrogance, fulfillment over hunger, truth over lies, hope over despair, light over darkness, all summarized to mean Kamala over Rowley, the UNC over the PNM. May the blessing of Lakshmi Ma fall upon each and every one of you. Namaste. Welcome to the revolution. People crying out for justice.